So now we'll go for the part six. The installing the SSCM 2012. So I have the software of SSM software and even the pre-required downloads also I downloaded. So just simply click on the S flash file. So click on install for SSM 2012. So click next. So install a configuration manager primary site. So use the typical installation. Select the checkbox. Click next. In future, if you want to require like a CAS center administration site, we can able to extend in later. So click yes. So I'm using the evaluation edition now. So install the evaluation edition. So accept the license agreement. So we are not getting like a next option here. So select like a accept the license terms for the SQL server and the silver light. So click next. So already I downloaded here. Suppose if it's not download means go for browse and create some drive later. Maybe in C drive create some folder name like a downloads. So already I downloaded. So click on browse. So in my computer icon in my Z drive. I have created a folder name. Already have a complete downloads are available in this folder. So click next. It verifying the downloads now. So here the site code it require like a minimum three characters only to accept it. So I'm providing the site code like India. And the site name. So I'm typing the site name as. So Gayatri Computers. head office site so the installation folder by default location and install the configure manage console also so click on next so I don't want to join in the CIP so click on next so now click next here Should check in the prerequisite for SCM server. So only one problem will be there. Only one error message only. SQL server process memory allocation. So it gives some error message which require like a 8 GB of RAM. So simply click on begin install. So it will take a lot of time. Click on view log file, but this log file will open it from the notepad. To view this log file in easiest way, in proper way, better way we can do one thing, just close it. So in computer icon, in SMS setup, we have tools are available. There one tool name is called as CM Trace. So I'm copying this tool into my desktop. So now open this tool. So click on file menu, click on open. In my C drive, I got one log file is available. Conf MGR setup. So open now. So in this log file we can able to identify exactly what is happening here while installing the SSCM server. So it will take a lot of time. I am passing the video now.
so this all the components should be installed now see now it is trying to create like a boot images for x86 for x64 we are trying to connect to the ADK server So brute images successfully created. So now trying to create the boot images for x64 bit. Even you got warnings also, it created no problem. One boot image created. Now trying to create other boot images for x64. So successfully x64 boot image created here and other boot images if you require manually we can edit add this one so now installing the config menu console You can see now all the programs are everything is completed now. So complete the configuration manager SSM 2012 is completed now. So just click on close. So if you go for the start button, if you go for all programs. In Microsoft System Center 2012, we got the configuration menu the console is available. Just right click here and creating a shortcut on desktop. So open this. So by default like this we have the tools are available. Now in the monitoring system status will be there. See the site status. So all the components are working and the component status is okay now. So both the things are okay now. The pinot site is okay now. So in this way we can able to install the SSCM Server 2012.